welcome back to my channel excuse the lighting in here it's very sunny out and the lighting is just not good in here today it's super duper hot so as you can see i have all the blinds behind me closed trying to keep it cool in here i'm probably just going to turn the ac on in a little bit because i'm not going to be able to hang but anywho guess what i'm doing today let me show you Okay, I am gonna tackle this fridge today. I'm tired of talking about how dirty my kitchen is, how dirty my refrigerator is, and not doing anything about it. Today, we're gonna do something about it because, what, what, what is this? I don't even know what's in here. It's so junky. So, yeah. Nobody else is gonna clean it out, and if they did, it probably wouldn't be right, so I might as well just do it myself. I need to clean this out. Over here, I already cleaned out the top um, two areas. So this is all the stuff that was there. I need to go through this stuff, throw out leftovers that nobody's gonna eat, check ex expiration dates, and let let's just have a real moment. Let's just, first of all, my kitchen is teeny tiny. It, it can't be dirty. This is why I always try to have my kitchen clean because it's too small to be dirty. Anything makes it look cluttered. Like, that. this is it. It's pretty but it's little, okay? So, and then let's swing on around this way. So, I mean, this is actually not junk. I just came from the grocery store. So this stuff is gonna be put away, but I can't even put it away because the refrigerator is so filthy. So let me tackle that. I'll try to film as much as I can, but again, I don't have a tripod for my phone, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. But let me see what I can figure out. All right, let me just start pulling out some of this stuff. And then, oh yeah, my stove is dirty too. So I'm just keeping it real. You know, if your house is always clean and it's perfect, kudos to you. But my house, we live in here. So, uh oh, let's let's do this with breaking stuff. All right. So right now I'm just moving this to the side because the same thing is going to go back in that area. I just need to organize it. So I'm gonna grab my wipes. gonna go there and then let me get my little yogurt container situated actually let me take all this out so I can check dates and so I can close the refrigerator so I'm just not standing here with it open unnecessarily I don't even have anywhere to put it lord have mercy put it on the dirty stove okay so I'm gonna close this but Okay, so I'm not feeling too overwhelmed because I already have this one cleaned, this one cleaned, and this one. So, I just got the rest of this. So, let me go get this container organized. Turn this light on here. Okay. All right, let's see what we have. <laughs> break mm -hmm. it is good okay let's focus and get back on task I think I'm gonna work on this other top shelf next let's see this one here is where I keep my milk and juices and stuff so let's get that in here 
I was just at the store. I should have bought some more milk. Because that's all that's left. Um, let's see. Oh, my daughter requested some almond milk. So we'll put that there. Uh, let's see. I bought these three juices. Lord. Oh, and what is that? No, ma'am. Something off the bottom of the juice. Not after I just cleaned that. Hmm. Come on, lights all white. Okay. I can't forget my chicken broth. I like to keep that in the back there. All right, let me get the rest of this juice. I definitely need to set up my tripod because this is a bit much. Hey, Jay. Okay, so I got the juices in there. Now I need to, oh no, I have more juices here. For the record, I don't buy these juices. My husband buys them. This is what I put on this shelf. Um, I'm thinking it's gonna stay like this because what I'm gonna try to do is I cleaned out this big section here. Well, not wiped it out yet. I took everything out. I'm thinking about putting all my coffee related items here. My iced coffee, I have a couple of jars um, of already made iced coffee and coffee creamers. So I'm thinking I'm gonna dedicate this shelf to coffee items so that'll free up space here for um, milks and juices. So let me see. First, let me clean this out. When the butter compartment closes, you have won in life. But what is this on the top, though? You see this right here? Uh-oh, wait a minute, y'all. <laughs> it's not opening. Oh, it's this piece back here. Okay, now let's see. Girl, uh, I quit. <laughs> All right, so I got everything else out here and this this is a uh, recycling stuff that I need to take out and I just took the top off the garbage and of course I got a sweep so that's a dustpan so this is everything that I just took out throwing away some stuff so let's get finished and then we will tackle uh, this this one down here this one, this one, this one, and then the top.
y'all family treat y'all like that? Like you take the time to clean up and organize because you know you want to have a nice home, especially when your house is small. Like you don't have the luxury of just having stuff all willy nilly all over the place. So I try to make it so it's organized and so that everything has a place so it's easy to identify when you're putting something back where to put it. So wives, moms, um, do people just ignore your setup at your house? Clearly they'll see like something goes somewhere and they'll put it in a completely different place. And I'm like, so that's what we doing. But yeah, that's that's how they do me in this house. But anywho, let me carry on. I just had to vent for a second. Let me know down below. Does your family do that to you? You specifically have a place and a nice clean spot for stuff and they just ignore it. What's up y'all? I had to take a break. I just realized I haven't eaten today. It's um 2.42. And all I've had is my iced coffee and messing around in that kitchen. I got to give you ladies... Oh, I'm eating a banana. Got to give you ladies props that do um, these cleaning videos like every day, several times a week. I don't know how y'all do it. And my kitchen is little, so really it shouldn't be a big deal. But like some of you ladies have these big, beautiful homes and big, beautiful kitchens that really require a lot of work, a lot of effort. Don't get me wrong. I would love to have a big, beautiful kitchen. Shout out to you ladies with um, these huge kitchens. Y'all be, y'all be really doing it. I watch some of those cleaning videos um, for cleaning motivation. And of course, just to see, you know, how other people are organizing their things to get little tips and tricks. So, I'm taking a break. ready to eat it um, it goes bad quicker when you wash it first but I mean to each his own I just choose not to wash mine until I get ready to eat it especially strawberries but my mom had already washed and cut these so they tend to go bad really quick after you wash them like to me within a couple days they start going bad so and then I did this one off camera took it out just like I did this one, washed it really well. And then I just have my veggies here. I have some cilantro, some scallions, a couple tomatoes. The broccoli I have out because I'm actually getting ready to use that. I'm making a broccoli salad. And um, yellow onion, red onion. These are the same vegetables that you saw in my grocery haul from, I think, uh, is it Jewel Osco? I think Joe Osco or Trader Joe's. I, I can't, I'm not Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. I can't remember. In a bag of slaw, coleslaw, that's for a recipe as well. So that's the veggie drawer. Now, this is the last drawer. So let me tackle this and I shall return. <laughs> This drawer is 
is done. So as you can tell, we like cheese in this house. So this is just Kraft sliced American cheese. Has some aged white cheddar, some, uh, what is this? Oh, just leftover blocks of cheddar cheese. Those uh, extra sauces that I told you we like to keep from different restaurants or whatever. Usually if we go buy chicken or fried chicken or fried fish, um, they come with these little mild and hot sauces. We like those. If you have not had this uh, sauce from Popeyes before, you are missing out. It's delicious. So we have a bunch of cheeses. This is open. This one isn't. So that came from Walmart, Aldi, uh, probably Jewel Osco, Aldi, uh, Aldi. And I think this is from Aldi. This is from Jewel Osco. Um, I have a pack of bacon here that's open already. Yeah, I told you we like our bacon here too. I think my mom bought this. So this is bacon. And then I just bought another one because it was on sale. So my bacon is expensive. And um, my, I got mine on sale for $12.99. I'm not sure how much my mom paid. But we get those from Jewel. And then... Um, turkey sausage. You probably saw this in the grocery haul. I showed all of this stuff. So this is what is in this drawer here. And then I'm going to go ahead and get this put away. Thank God this drawer is large because my goodness, I need to have somewhere to house all my cheese. That's really all I'm concerned about. Cheese and the bacon. Let's not leave out the bacon. All right, let me get this in the refrigerator. finish the refrigerator you guys saw this already the eggs applesauces and yogurts and this bin here um, cream cheese cottage cheese some salsa cool whip sour cream all right so that's that and then I decided to use this shelf here for leftovers so again this was just some leftover ribs I think it's some some okra in that one my husband barbecued yesterday, so there's um, some couple steaks and Italian hot links in there. The pinto beans that my mom made in the back. So this will be our leftover shelf. This one is still empty, so we have plenty of room. The lettuce is here. And then these containers, you saw those earlier. This is what the veggie tray ended up looking like. And then the fruit. And then the meat and cheese pull-out tray here. On this side. And then down here looks like somebody already added something. And then what is that they got on there? I don't know what that was, but so it's like my husband added two Gatorades for himself. And then on this side here, it's basically condiments. So I will wipe down the outside probably tomorrow. It was getting late. I decided to just pick up pizza instead of cooking. It is 6.57. And you know, I started this at 12 something. I haven't been doing it the whole time. I, I stopped, picked my son up from work, took him to run an errand, took him back to the shop to pick up his car. So I've been doing other things, doing other YouTube stuff. Um, so yeah, I just have this stuff here that I need to put away. 
and just, you know, wipe down the table. But let me show you what we got for dinner. So this is my daughter's pizza. She only likes cheese, so that's hers. Jada, uh, your food is in here. And then, and then here is the other one. We have, um, what is this? Extra large cheese and sausage, and then one half has sausage and pepperoni. Hey guys, I am back. It's the next day. I was just showing you quickly that I did clean my table off. I still have not mopped the floor. I'm procrastinating because again, that's my least favorite thing to do, but it will get done at some point today. So I just cleaned my table off. Well, actually, I don't know if, you, if you've watched one of my videos before, you know that the kitchen is small. I don't have a dining room. So when we had our kitchen redid, we opted for um, this table top it's a uh, counter height and then this cabinet here has storage underneath so on this side we have three stools i st store them sideways so they're not you know in the way but if someone wants to sit you can pull it out and sit here at the counter and then you can Turn it, turn it sideways and you can sit back there. I've sat back here before, so it's plenty room. Um, but yeah, so there's three of those wooden stools back there. And then I don't like to do a lot on the table again because I, I do sit here. We do eat here. So I don't like to have a lot going on. Um, this, uh, a friend of mine that I used to work with, she sent me that in the mail and um, that was a wonderful surprise. So I have that there, just freshened those up and then just filled up the um, jar with some different assortment of cookies, some lemon uh, cake cookies, and then just some chewy chocolate chip. And this is the candle if you saw in my Ross haul. Um, what is this? This is lemon, lemon leaf. So. I'll let you guys know what the payoff is as far as the scent because I just lit it. So, but it, it smells, um, smells good in the jar. But we'll see how it smells once it's all lit. And then on this side is just my two tabletop chairs right there. And I usually sit over here just because of course those are more comfy but yeah so i cleaned off the table that is it and again thank you guys so much for watching just wanted to come back on and show you what the table looks like when it's clean so all right have a good one everyone